In this episode of Our American Republic, we will discuss the English philosopher John Locke and how his ideas influenced the writing of our Constitution. Recounting a conversation with Alexander Hamilton, Thomas Jefferson stated in an 1811 letter to Dr. Benjamin Rush that Locke was among my trinity of the three greatest men the world had ever produced. So who was John Locke? And what did he do to draw such praise from the notable Thomas Jefferson? John Locke was born on the 29th of August, 1632, and he lived through incredibly turbulent times in England, including the English Civil War, the Protectorate, the Restoration, and the Glorious Revolution before he died in 1704. Locke witnessed firsthand the development of the English constitutional monarchy and parliamentary democracy throughout the political conflicts of the period. When Locke began writing, he didn't write history. Instead, reflecting upon the perspectives of the times, his works recorded deep philosophical considerations on the nature of humanity and government. Examining two treatises of government, we see that Locke defines the natural state of mankind as interpersonal conflict that threatens the natural rights of the people. Locke argues that the natural rights of the people include life, liberty, and property. He states that each person's property consists of his or her person and the products of his or her labor. To protect these rights, people consent to establish a government by yielding limited authority. Therefore, governments can only maintain their limited authorities via consent of the governed, and may lose both consent and authority by failing to protect the essential rights of the people. This relationship between the people and the government is often known as a social compact. Locke explains that the lawmaking or legislative power is the fundamental role of all governments. He states that settled laws are necessary to avoid violation of the people's rights by the arbitrary will of government. Locke says directly that wherever law ends, tyranny begins. He even goes on to discuss the right of the people to craft a new legislative body to replace any that violates the consensual relationship with the governed. Locke's works were well known to the authors of the Constitution. It is documented that John Locke was one of the three most cited political philosophers of the founding era. By far, he was the single most frequently cited source in the period from 1760 to 1776. The Declaration of Independence, penned by Thomas Jefferson, echoes John Locke's words and phrases, underscoring the respect that Jefferson expressed in 1811. With John Locke's ideas so clearly expressed in the founding document of the United States, it is no stretch at all to label him an intellectual founder of our American Republic. How do John Locke's ideas apply to us in the modern era? How well has government respected its limited role as envisioned by Locke? Have we as Americans lost sight of our natural rights?